Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create and import height maps into City Skylines. And if you did not know, you can actually do that. There's a site that's been made that goes kind of hand in hand with the game that allows you to create a height map like a satellite um, geographical image view of any part of the world pretty much or at least most parts which is really cool because then you can import it into the game into the map editor here and and it will have all the terrain of that real world place you know whether you want to do your hometown or you know somewhere in the Himalayas or whatever the uh, you can then use that in the game and have and create the map and add everything else and such so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to the first part here we're gonna jump to a browser and I will put a link in the description for the site, but it's pretty straightforward. It's terrain.party, and that's it, no .com or anything. And it brings you here, and pretty much you can search um, for anywhere. You can zoom in, zoom out, and there's these different views. I just have the default one that it defaults to. I'm not sure if it matters. You can expand and collapse the square size. As you can see, I just made it a little bigger. And what I've done is I've just chosen, it's a, it's a little town uh, out in the mountains of Panama. And what I, so what you do here is, it, it's kind of like a Google Maps, Google Earth thing. You just hold the mouse, drag around, and you take your square. And again, you click and hold it and drag it to wherever you want. And I'm going to just kind of select one of these areas like here say for example and then all I do is click export I can name it whatever I'm gonna leave it the same name Boquete and click OK now don't touch anything because right now it's like gathering the data and in a minute we will give you a dialog box to download so don't move the square or anything just let it sit there and here we go BAM we got this um, it's a zip file pretty small though fortunately and just take a second here to download because my internet is kind of crap but yeah okay so we have this we download this and uh, as it being a zip you need you know 7-zip Renoir WinRAR or whatever and there's these PNGs in here these are what you want you cannot drop the zip file under the folder I'm going to designate here for you in a minute show you and uh, and yeah it does have a readme file which you don't need to put into the folder but you might want to read because it gives little descriptions of the differences between the different PNGs and um, which ones are like good for what kind of so that's nice to have but we have these so we obviously need to put them in the folder for city skylines to find now this is the part that can get a little bit complicated if you don't know where to look because it needs to go in a very specific folder which may not be obvious to find now generally I think for almost all people and again, this is for Windows. I'm not sure where it's going to be located on Mac. I apologize. I don't use a Mac. I really don't know anything about Macs. But um, if you go into your main drive, whatever that may be, go under Users, your username, whatever it is, and then App Data, Local, and there's all this, probably all this crap. If you scroll down, you will see a folder, Colossal Order. And again, this may not be the case for everyone. I think it is for most people. Under Colossal Order, City Skylines, and Add-ons, Map Editor, Height Maps. And you put it in here. I've already done some of somewhere else now. If, it, if this is not here, if you don't have a Map Editor or a Height Maps folder within this, what you can do um, is go into the game here and click import height map and if you click this little folder button down here if you click that it'll create the folder for it like if you've never been in the map editor or imported the height map before if you do this it should create the folder for it where it needs to go I had to do this so you just do that if you've never been in here and imported the stuff before which I assume you wouldn't if you're watching the tutorial but uh, yeah you can just do that so then we go back here height maps okay so 
I dropped the zip of my other one in there just for the hell of it to see if it worked, but it doesn't. So what you want to do is drag these into here. The PNGs again. Okay, so boom, we got that. They're in here. And that's pretty much it as far as that goes. You go to the site, you find what you want, download it, um, open your zip file, locate the folder, which was kind of the tricky part. And then uh, I might put the path in here in the description as well, the path you need to follow. Um, and one last time, it may not be the case for everybody. Um, you can do some Google searches and there's some other detailed instruction, instructions on it. But this is pretty much where it's going to be for most people, I think, on Windows. So you can close that. And as you can see, we have all of these new ones. Now, the one in the readme file that it said is usually recommended is the merged. Um, there, there's these other ones which you can play around with. I'm not going to tell you which one to use because I don't know if one is better than the others. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. You just select it, hit import, and bam. We have all we have the terrain of that place in the real world. Now, obviously, you need to add like trees and a water source and stuff. But it gives you... I mean, this isn't really eventful, this part here. But there's places. I mean, I've seen people do them of like El Dorado Canyon in uh, Boulder, like that's close to Boulder, Colorado. Um, and yeah, you can see there's actually, you know, these hills here and stuff. So it's really cool. Um, if you don't know how to do it, this should show you. Um, and I, I didn't know how to do it and I would have liked to have had a tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. Hopefully this helps everybody. If you have any questions, concerns, feedback, uh, comments or whatever, then, you know, comment down in the, sh in the comment section and you know if it was helpful or you enjoyed it or whatever please leave a like it helps other people find it too and uh, hopefully help them and it helps support me so yeah as always thanks guys so much for watching really hope this was helpful but till next time i look forward to seeing you all and take care